Guys, in this video, we'll see what were the new widgets introduced in Flutter 2. So this is the link widget which they introduced and on click of this button, it will be redirected to a link. So yes, this redirects to the link and if we click on the back button, so it gives us the main page. This is the implementation of the widget. Here we specify the URL which we want to redirect to and on click of that button, we follow the link. Do note that this widget requires package URL launcher. This is the Cupertino search text field. Let's start typing in this field. And once I press enter, we will see the difference in the messages. On the right hand side, we can see the differences between when we were typing versus when we hit the enter. This is the implementation where we just printed out the search text in unchanged and search submitted text in unsubmitted. This is the Cupertino form section and this is the Cupertino form row. We just light this toggle and simply the error message changes. So here is the Cupertino form section and inside which there is this form row. On toggling the switch, we simply set state. There is also a Cupertino text form field row and let's enter some word here. Press enter. The right hand side you can see the differences between text form field when we were typing versus when we hit the enter. Here is the Cupertino text form field wherein we just assign a controller to this and we print out the messages on on changed and on field submitted. This is the scaffold messenger for showing snack bars. Let's click on this floating action button and it shows us the snack bar. The code we create a scaffold messenger state and from that state we call the show snack bar. This is the raw autocomplete. We click on this field and it shows us the different suggestions. Let's click on a suggestion and press submit. So it shows us our submission. Define a list of suggestions. Create the raw autocomplete. We specify the options builder. The option builder basically returns the selected options. We define the on selected and what happens once the user clicks on a selected option. We define the field view builder. The field view builder we create the text form field wherein the user can start typing. We use options view builder to display the suggestions in the form of a list of cards. That's it from this video guys. Source code and article links are mentioned in the description below. And thanks guys for watching.